Well, Tyson says that 96% of their employees are now vaccinated ahead of the upcoming November 1st deadline. But for the other 4%, well, they'll be fired or put on unpaid leave. Brad Walker is one of them. After more than 20 years with Tyson's maintenance and engineering department, Brad Walker will drive away from his workplace Friday and not be allowed back because he's unvaccinated. It's almost like we're separated. You know, here's the, the if you took the vaccine, you're good. If you did it, you're bad. November 1st is the deadline Tyson set for all employees to be fully vaccinated or face being fired or put on unpaid leave. In a statement to 4029, Tyson referred to CEO Donnie King's memo to employees. Quote, I'd like to say to those who remain unvaccinated, this is your choice, and we respect that choice. Brad says that choice is putting him in dire straits. I've already talked to a lawyer. i got to file bankruptcy after, so I ain't got a job yet, and my house payment, car payments would be due. So far, Tyson reports 96% or 120,000 of its workers have received the COVID shot so far. A Christian, Brad says, he applied for a religious exemption. I would just thought that they would have cared enough for their employees' beliefs that they would have done everything possible to likewise accommodate them. In their statement, Tyson says, accommodations are approved on an individual basis. In some cases, those who choose not to be vaccinated and have requested and have been provided an accommodation are placed on leave of absence. Brad says that accommodation feels the same as being fired and feels betrayed by the company that labeled him an essential worker a year ago, but it won't allow him to return to work next week. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of uh, stressful moments with my wife and myself, uh, a lot of shed tears. Now Tyson says those unvaccinated employees will be welcome back if they get vaccinated. Well, as for Brad, he's looking for a job elsewhere now as a building of maintenance and engineer. But says so far, he's gotten no callbacks. We're live in Springdale, Paul Petit, 4029 News.